In Class 3A, the Belleville Brema is taking on the defending champion, Wimberley Texans, who not only won the Class 3A Division II championship, but got to play close to home in Bastrop. Here are the highlights. The 8-3 Belleville Bramas had their hands full with the 8-3 defending Class 3A Division II state champion, Wimberley Texans. When you're a defending state champion, you, you believe you can win no matter what, and we, we knew that it would be a tough game. The Bramas brought the pasture of pain on the road to Bastrop Memorial Stadium, led by their defense in the first half. This pick helped set up the game's first touchdown. Kyle Fuchs called his own number out on the quarterback keeper, and the Bramas were on the board. Belleville can thank their defense for taking a 7-0 lead into the locker room as a pair of picks set the tone for this game. Trey Jordan with the interception off Reed Jones that really fired up the Bramas. Uh, well, you know, they just tried to sink the tail back up the seam and I, you know, stayed back, stayed disciplined and, uh, you know, he overthrew a little bit, luckily. And, uh, you know, that's what we've been working on all week is just uh, looking for those rail routes and the backs up the sideline just staying at home you know creating turnovers and our secondary is really coming around and they're they're staying with their responsibility doing their job it was not just picks though this hard-hitting tackle on fourth down near the Belleville goal line was huge as Troy Edmond who is number one on the field and in the hearts of Brahma's fans delivered the blow jarring the ball loose and keeping the Texans out of the end zone near the end of the first half the Bramas scored their second touchdown in the third quarter as the ground game started kicking in. Lakeith Nunn with a six-yard touchdown run, and it was 14-0 Belleville. The Bramas amassed 240 yards on the ground on 44 carries thanks to their huge offensive line. We did. Our offensive line really, uh, you know, opened up some holes for us, and our, and our guys, you know, ran through them and held on to the football. They just did a great job. Kind of started out slow as a team, and as kind of as the game went on, we just kind of one of our plays kind of worked well with uh, handing off to the halfback, just worked well and can't say enough, I'm so happy right now. Started focusing more, they started running harder, just made that gap. You know, it's just, it's the offensive line, that's, that's about it. We, we just get the ball, take off and do what we gotta do. Wimberley was not done though, the defending champs had some fight in them as Reed Jones connected with Colby Kelly on a four yard touchdown pass play in the fourth quarter to cut Belleville's lead to seven. But back came the Bramas. Bronson Allen had the bulk of Belleville's rushing yards with 104 on the ground and the final TD of the game as Belleville took a 21-7 lead. Lakeith Nunn and DeBray Parker combined for over 1,800 yards last season and along with Bronson Allen, this stable of running backs are all juniors. Those guys are so unselfish. It's whatever is opening up and whatever they're giving us, those guys are going to carry out the fakes. They're going to do the blocking for one another, and uh, that's what our offense is all about, being unselfish and controlling the line of scrimmage. Those plays were executed. We, we moved the ball well. Uh, we, we weren't consistent in the first half, but overall, I mean, we had the big plays when we needed them. The defense stepped up once again late, keeping the Texans out of the end zone and helping guide the Bramas to the third round of the postseason. Forcing turnovers and a bend but don't break attitude has been the defensive MO and part of the reason why Belleville has won six games in a row. There's a direct correlation right there to turnovers and wins and, and our defense has been able to, to create a lot of turnovers. Our turnover ratio has been real high uh, the last few games, you know, uh, just creating turnovers, making picks. Next up for Belleville in the postseason is Orange Grove in arguably the most competitive classification in all of Texas high school football. 3A Division II. Just super proud of our kids. They believed the whole week that they could do it. And, uh, you know, they're peaking right now and they're playing their best football of the year right now, which is the best time to be doing that. The team's motto is blonde hair don't care. And Bronson's teammates wanted to let him know it's time to join the team in dying the do. Let's get blonde hair for playoffs. We're going all the way this year. Blonde hair don't care. In Bastrop, Jeff Power, Max Prep Sports, your leader in online high school sports coverage.